A winning week for me. That's right, me. I had a winning week last week. Me. I had the winning week at three and two. Should have been four and one. What's up, everybody? Nick Costos here. Week 8 Board of Spreads presented by Bet MGM with your five best bets for this week in the NFL. And always, we will start with the games that I have no interest in betting. We will start with the game that's going to make everyone super uncomfortable on Sunday as Tua Tungavailoa returns for the Miami Dolphins against the Arizona Cardinals. Am I going to bet the game? No. I don't know what Miami's offense is going to look like. Here's the only thing I want. Tua did not get concussed and be lying on the ground. That's the only thing I want from this game on Sunday with Miami and Arizona. Oh, let's go to Detroit and Tennessee. How good has Jared Goff been? He's been sensational. How bad have the Titans been? Worse than the Lions have been good. I don't want to see Mason Rudolph. I don't want to see Will Levis. This Tennessee Titans team is terrible, but it's a huge point spread. Can they cover? I don't I don't know. No bet on this game with Detroit and Tennessee. Hey, Brian Callahan, pull your head out of your derriere and let's get going here with this Tennessee Titans offense. The next game, I have no interest in betting. Oh, man. I want someone to come to my house the next time I want to bet the New York Jets and tase me. Like, tase the shit out of me so I stop betting this team. I want to bet the Jets, but literally, I can't force myself to click the button. I've lost too much money on this team. No more with the New York Jets. By the way, it's going to be May. Drake may have been pretty good as the starter for the New England Patriots. The next game, I have no interest in betting. Spencer the baby Rattler gets another start for New Orleans on the road in LA against the Chargers. Pathetic performance by them on Monday night. Can the Chargers cover this number? Maybe. I don't think Spencer Rattler's bad and the Saints getting some reinforcements back. No interest in betting this game. If I had to bet the game, I'd bet the Chargers, but no bet with the Chargers and the Saints. Now we will go to the if-then games and we will start with the Falcons and the Bucks, Man, great decision by Tampa to play Mike Evans. Guys, hamstrings hurt. Go out there, Mike Evans, and, and it hurt your hamstring even more. Chris Godwin dislocated ankle in the final minute of the game. What the hell is this team doing? Answer, covering the spread in, against Atlanta this Sunday. If and when this point spread goes to three, shake and bake, baby. Baker Mayfield covers the spread against Atlanta, but we need three to make the bet. Fire the cannons with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The next game, oh, the Packers and the Jaguars. How about Jacksonville? Spends two weeks in London. Yeah, baby, yeah, with Doug Peterson. Basil Exposition and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now they come home to take on Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers, and I gotta tell you something. I love Love. I love Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers. Now, I want this number to come down a little bit. If it hits four, we will bet on cheese. We will bet on Love, and I love cheese. And we will bet the Green Bay Packers against the Jacksonville Jaguars. How about a couple more if-then games? Oh, man, DK Metcalf, we don't know if he's gonna play on Sunday for the Seattle Seahawks. Buffalo slams the Titans last week. If we see a four with Seattle with Yacht Rock legend, Mike McDonald. I keep forget DK Metcalf might not play. And if DK doesn't play and we get a four, we will take the four with the Seattle Seahawks against the Buffalo Bills. And last one, this damn thing is stuck to my foot. Oh, we thought this was going to be the offensive rookie of the year bowl with Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels. And now Jaden Daniels might not play. And we might get the horrible Marcus Mariota at quarterback for the Washington Commanders. And my thought is if Marcus Mariota is going to play quarterback for the Washington Commanders, then we will bet the Chicago Bears no matter what the price is. Bears Bears are the bet if Marcus Mariota plays. I don't care what the number is. Again, Marcus Mariota plays, then we will bet the Chicago Bears on Sunday against the Washington Commanders. And now time for the five best bets for this week as we look for a second consecutive winning week. Deshaun Watson injured. Fans cheer. Everyone gets upset. Do I care? No. Here's what I care about. Jameis Winston playing for Cleveland. Eaton W's. I need to wash my hands. Eaton W's and covering spreads. Like, I get it. Browns are bad. Lamar's the MVP. Ravens look great, but it's the dog pound. Cleveland, great sports city. They're going to be going absolutely bananas, barking at, at Baltimore. It's going to be great. Cleveland plus nine and a money line sprinkle on Jameis Winston and the Cleveland Browns too. Eat that W. How do you do it? How do you do the W? Do this? It's like middle and, middle and ring thing. Can I do that? Yeah. Eat the W for Jameis Winston. Give me the Browns plus the nine. Best bet, number one. Best bet, number two. Anthony Richardson looks like if you put him on a basketball court, he'd dunk. If he did the 100-yard dash, he'd outrun Usain Bolt. But you put him in a quarterback, he's got a slower processor in his brain than like a 1990s Dell computer. Like, he doesn't have it going on right now. But that being said, the Texans offense is impotent. I said it. Impotent. Bobby Sloak doesn't know what the hell he's doing. So it's six. It's a huge huge number. Give me the Indianapolis Colts plus the six on the road in Houston. Best bet numero trace. The Eagles slammed the Giants last Sunday. Great. They beat a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. No offensive line. It's going to be different because now it's Joe Burrow and y'all pay homage to the man. Woo! Cincinnati Bengals minus two and a half against the Eagles as they get back to 500. Ah, Super Bowl 50 rematch. Broncos and Panthers. Now you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot of points. Maybe I'll take Carolina. How could Bo Nix be favored by nine? Answer, in 
Andy Dalton's awful. The Panthers are the worst team in the league. Denver's gonna win this game like 20 to three and cover the spread. Just like Super Bowl 50, Broncos over Panthers. Denver laying the nine in the last one. Oh, Antonio Pierce, we must pray to the patron saint, guys. The patron saint of covering big point spreads. So dear patron saint Antonio Pierce, please send the field goal unit out to make an eight point game a five point game. Send out the punting unit when you should be going for it. Focus on the important things in life, like covering the spread. Who cares about winning games? We are here to cover. Pride and poise, commitment to excellence, just cover baby Raiders plus 10 at home against DeAndre Hopkins and the Kansas City Chiefs your five best bets coming up for week eight in the NFL courtesy of BetMGM make all those bets at the sportsbook born in Vegas